In part one of this three-part series, we covered the basics of color note. Now let's look at what you can add to your notes in the app. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications to join the family. If you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. To master the use of the apps that we cover on this channel, make sure you head over to our second YouTube channel, Paperless Humans, for both free and paid courses. You can also access them on our website via Patreon. And we even have them on Udemy, if you prefer that. We will have a link to all of that in the description down below. Perhaps my shapes are terrible, but still, in 2024, a handwriting note-taking app should at least support irregular shapes. Even with the shapes tool selected, it's hopeless. I can't help but wonder if color note users add shapes to their notes. Probably not, which is probably why the developers have neglected the feature. Unless, of course, they're ignoring their users or they're still working on it because coding is hard work. Complex curves are a very useful feature you get in Color Note. No other app has been able to replicate this. So, if you draw a lot of graphs, you will definitely love Color Note. You just have to make sure you're getting them right the first time, otherwise, you will have to redraw them. That is because, both for your shapes and curves, you can't adjust them after you've drawn them in the app. At least now we can resize them and we look forward to rotating our shapes in the app. It's some progress, but still a very slow one considering some of these features are now a basic standard for handwriting note-taking apps. I've always loved the autofill feature for shapes in color note. It is intuitive and fun to use. Sadly though, we no longer have the option for multiple colors, it seems, but we can still layer them. Naturally, your border and autofill can be different colors, and that is always a good thing. You can also change the border thickness. The overall user experience for the ruler tool hasn't improved much. It's difficult to use because you can see through it. I don't think I've seen a transparent ruler tool in any app, so this is quite distracting. I like that it has both inches and centimeters on different sides, but the angle not resetting when you flip to the other side can be a bit confusing. Drawing lines with the ruler tool is much better than in most apps. It is the best drawing experience I've had with the ruler tool. What do you guys think about the shapes tool in color note? Text boxes in color note have come a long way, a very long way. There was a time when we couldn't type on our pages directly. Though the customization window has everything you need, different font types, size, options, and color, it feels a bit cramped, which is unpleasant, but you quickly get over it because of all the things that you can do with your text in the app. Color note makes it very easy to customize selected words, paragraphs, or all the text in your text boxes. You can align your text and format it to make it bold, italic, or underline. You can also highlight it. The only missing option is striking out, so we look forward to having that in the future. Where most note taking apps save a few favorite styles, Color note doesn't limit you. If you care about how the app looks, you'll probably want to limit that to 12. That's because they start looking terrible and unusable to some extent after that figure. Besides that, they're great because they give you a clear picture of what your text looks like. A few things are still missing though. Rotation. Perhaps even some text box options like background color, borders, you know stuff to make the text boxes more interesting. 
So we'll look forward to having those and seeing those in the future. You can add a photo from photos or take one with your iPad camera. We still can't drag and drop images out of the app though, but you don't have any problem dragging them into the app. Once in your notes, you can simultaneously resize and rotate your images. You can also stretch or shrink them. I always like flipping images in color note. It's a cool feature that you don't see often in a handwriting note taking up. The app can crop your images into a circle or heart. These shapes are quite cute and they make more sense than the ones you get in killer notes. So I like them. The app also has some cool filters for your images. And a rare feature you find is the ability to annotate on your images with text and handwriting. Handwriting annotations still need a bit of work, but this is a very useful feature to have that we've only seen in Apple Notes. You can also censor parts of your image, and this is the only app we have seen to do this. It can even extract information from them. For digital note taking, Color Note has the best options for interacting with your images. The app has a lot of stickers that are effectively images, as is to be expected. For years, we've been waiting for the ability to create our own stickers, and the developers have delivered, just not in the way we're expecting. It's not from your notes, like we have with most apps, but with generative AI. I don't know about everyone else, but I don't have the patience to instruct AI to produce what's in my head. It seems I'm better off doing it myself, so quite a learning curve there for me, but... See what I mean? That does not look like Optimus Prime. Really doesn't. On a serious note though, Color Note has AI for generating stickers and also for notes, where you can ask the app anything. What's fascinating about this is that it's free, or should I say for now. Most developers who have brought us AI features so far have charged us for it. Most of them are subscriptions or they cost an arm and a leg. In Color Note, it's free. I also love that it doesn't index your notes doesn't ask for access to them. It simply just helps you research or search for information and create different things without invading your documents. It is the best AI implementation I have seen in a handwriting note taking app so far. And it gives me hope for the future of AI in our lives. Audio recordings in color note sync to your handwritten notes not your text. I guess we're still waiting for textbox support for that. Recording should only be a single step process though. So the setup in the app is not ideal and we hope that the developers can improve that. Your playback options are quite basic. You can tap your notes to skip the audio. You have rewind and fast forward options. The app can speed up or slow down your playback. It's not a bad audio recording tool. Color Note is the only handwriting note taking app that can create proper hyperlinks. Good Notes and Apple Notes only link to text. And that works, but it also makes them a bit incomplete. This is probably the one reason to consider using the app. All the app's other issues are completely forgiven because of this. You can learn to tolerate a lot of them, just so you can link your notes however you like. Interactive web links are also great. You can browse a website without leaving the app. 
extracting information from the websites is also very easy and so is navigating the website. It makes simple web links look like a joke, but even the way the app previews them is quite impressive. Definitely the best we have seen in a handwriting note-taking app. Links are my favorite feature in Colour Note, no doubt. The app has both freehand and rectangular lasso tools. It can pick everything on your page. And the rectangular one also resizes your handwriting, only your handwriting. We should be able to resize everything in the selection. It will just be painful having to resize individual items one by one. So let's hope that we can have that in the future. You can change your ink thickness and color. We can't change the type of ink anymore though. Tis a shame. We can't rotate our selection, but we can move them across pages. Color Note has come a long way since its launch. I am happy to see that the app is more stable and the developers have really worked hard to polish it. In 2024, Color Note has earned its place amongst premium apps for handwriting notes on the iPad. It packs features that are only unique but functional that has made it a force to be reckoned with. In part 3 of this series, we'll cover more features and see what you need to consider if you want to add this app to your digital workflow. What do you guys think about Color Note? Do tell. <laughs>